the impact of digitalization and education on the promotion of intercultural dialogue in the Euromed region. My name is Carl Donnert. I represent the European Association of Geographers. This is a brief summary and reflection on the article I produced earlier this year for the Anna Lind report on intercultural trends. Intercultural dialogue is an indispensable feature of an inclusive society. It provides the basis for cooperation and participation in a society where we promote tolerance and we respect difference. I believe intercultural dialogue is a key instrument which is based on mutual respect for building bridges between people. Digitalization has, a, a, has had a huge impact on us. It disrupts society, but it can have positive effects, encouraging inclusion. However, we need to have the right tools and spaces for dialogue. An additional need is that of education on how to use these. I believe that intercultural education for all needs to be an educational priority, encouraging respect for cultural diversity while nourishing shared values. The data shows the importance of having education spaces for generating intercultural dialogue. During the pandemic, a lot of education activity was forced to move online. So embracing this, we should aim to create and use suitable digital environments for intercultural dialogue. <clears throat> we need to have online spaces that empower people to engage, participate, contribute and collaborate. The Anna Lind report on intercultural trends shows that young people are active in online spaces, especially in SEM countries, and also on social media platforms. Online, anyone can be a producer of information and share ideas, but enabling real two-way dialogue is technically more challenging. Also in Europe, there's a lot of mistrust of social media and the information posted online. The research shows that digitalization is having a great impact in SEM countries. The pandemic has altered normal modes of communication. Communicating online has become a regular occurrence as Zoom and a host of other video and audio conferencing tools are used to keep in touch with friends and family and for work and business. These radical changes to the patterns in our lives are likely to persist. Although there's a lot of uncertainty about what the new normal would look like in the future post pandemic period. However, I believe we should see digitalization as offering us new opportunities, occasions to engage more widely and with new audiences who might otherwise not be reached. Experimenting with new forms of cultural expression is already taking place and we need to encourage and embrace these innovative actions, but ensure education for digital intercultural dialogue takes place. So in summary, digital media has become a fundamental part of our lives. We need to ensure digital media literacy and education about it is available in both formal and non-formal contexts. Digital spaces for intercultural dialogue should be identified and where they're useful promoted as pillars of social cohesion. And they can be used to help us to envision the sort of society we want post-COVID. That was my review of the chapter I produced for the Anna Lind report on intercultural trends on the impact of digitalization and education on the promotion of intercultural dialogue in the Euromed region. My name is Carl Donnert, European Association of Geographers.